Hey guys, Blue Mystery here, back in a Minecraft fashion game video, and today, guys, we're gonna be, uh, figuring out how to convert Minecraft Bedrock Worlds to Java Worlds and, uh, Java to Bedrock. And, um, yeah, before we get into this video, I just wanna ask you guys to subscribe and like if you haven't already, because most people don't like the video before watching. But, yeah, just to get into this video. Okay, so the first thing you need is this, um, tool thing, this tool called MCC Tool Chest, okay? So here's the link, it'll be in the description as well. But what you need to download is the first link here, MCC Tool Chest P, okay, for the Bedrock version. I already have it downloaded, but I'll just download it again because why not? So anyway, I uninstalled the MCC Tool Chest thing because I already had it. Uh, if you're gonna have a zip like this, just click show in folder or, or open, whatever. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and click extract all, just extract it to a folder. I mean, I already have it extracted, I'm just doing this again for the tutorial. Let me just delete all this. You don't need this anymore. Just delete that. All you need is this one setup.exe file. Just run this program and um, yeah, just wait. It's gonna do some things here first, and then it's gonna show up in a few seconds. It's gonna pop, this is gonna pop up. Okay, so just click next. Click next again unless you want to change this. Just click install here. Click yes. And you're done. Now that you have the, um, you have the app installed. Okay, I'm just gonna call it the app. What you want to do is first get a Minecraft Pocket Edition World open. Okay, now that job, my Pocket Edition World, my Pocket Minecraft Pocket Edition is open. Okay, I'm on Windows 10 Edition. I'm still making a new world right now. Okay, so now that I have my Minecraft Pocket Edition world open, it doesn't really matter what you get. Just have a Minecraft Pocket Edition world. Like, if I can't get this water. Okay, so anyway, I got this really weird island. I got small island here. It, it doesn't matter what you get, okay? Just, all you need is a Minecraft Pocket Edition world, and you had to wait for the chunks to load, so I'm just gonna wait for that to happen. You're gonna lose all this here, okay? So... Whatever Minecraft world you're gonna use, just make sure it's not something important, okay? That's why I made a new one here, because my other worlds are more important than silent. So, yeah. Okay, so now that you have your Minecraft Pocket Edition world, that's gonna get overwritten. What you have to do is make your Minecraft Java Edition world that you're going to overwrite the Pocket Edition world with, okay? I don't know if any of this made sense, but... Yeah, um, I'm sure I called this, um... Overrider, perfect. Okay, it's gonna override the pocket the edition world, so I'm just gonna this to creative anyway. So I'm gonna open up this world, create it, and um, yeah. Okay, so I made a Java edition world here. It's it's, it's laggy right now because I just loaded the chunks. Uh, I just created these chunks. Okay, it's it's really laggy right now. But what you have to do is go ahead and make a Java edition world like this. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can hear the music right now. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm just waiting for this to load. Okay, so all the chunks are loaded now. Uh, I'm sorry about the music, it's kind of loud. But now the chunks are loaded, I, I can close Minecraft. Okay, I'm just gonna close Minecraft. Now that Minecraft is closed, uh, all you have to do is this is where the interesting, the important stuff happens, okay? You have a Minecraft Java world, you have a Minecraft Bedrock world, okay? The bedrock world was just an island, deserted island, and the Java world was somewhere in a plane, I'm guessing. What's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go ahead, take the Java edition world, and put it into the bedrock edition world, okay? So, what's gonna, like, the chunks are gonna get displaced a little bit, like, I don't know how to say this, but... It's going to delete the Minecraft bedrock edition world chunks, so that's why I told you guys not to use a world that you liked. Because all those chunks are going to get deleted, okay? Everything you've done in that world is going to get deleted. Well, not everything, but most of the stuff. It depends on how big the worlds are, comparatively. But it will get deleted. Okay, so now that you have the app open, okay? You have a Minecraft Bedrock world and you have a Minecraft Java Edition world. What you want to do here is go ahead, click File, Open. I'm just going to go ahead and pick my Bedrock Edition world. Now that I have my Bedrock Edition world, just look at the chunks here. Uh, these are just the chunks that loaded when I've gone to the world. All these. So I'm just gonna go ahead, click tools, and click convert to bedrock, okay? You might think, oh, okay, Blue Mystery, you're crazy. You're turning a bedrock edition world into a bedrock edition world. Okay, no, 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 okay. 
what's gonna happen is after I click this, it's gonna open my job edition worlds, okay? So I have this world called Overrider that I saved before you guys have it do it. So you can pick what dimensions the dimensions you want, whatever, uh, just everything. Lock out these and T's, everything, okay, just pick whatever. So, yeah, just leave everything as it is. It's, everything's gonna get, everything's gonna be exactly the same, okay? Just, yeah, just leave everything as it is, okay? So, after you've done this, just click convert. And you're done, okay? Everything's done. Uh, 529 chunks are converted. Click close. And now that you've done this, all you have to do is. Uh, it's all done. You need to close this. You don't need this anymore. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. You have to click save changes, okay? You have to click save, okay? Or else it's not gonna, it's not gonna work, okay? Everyone click save, okay? D don't close it. D uh, hopefully, these, it's not, okay, I'm gonna put a message there. Hopefully, I don't forget, but, yeah, you have to click save, okay? If you don't click save, you're gonna do all this over again. I mean, it's not that hard, but it, it's just extra work. Okay, so now that you have Minecraft, uh, but can't get better condition open again. All I have to go is go ahead, click this world. You see, it's now called Overrider because it's been overridden. Okay, it changes the name so you can easily find what world you're searching for. Okay, so now all you have to do is wait for this to load, which may or may not take a while. I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a while though because, uh, yeah, it, I'm, I'm just get, yeah, it's gonna take a while. Alright, uh, it's so now that we're back here. Let's just take a look at the world, and there it is. Okay, it. I didn't. Okay, I'm. I'm just wondering. Oh, okay. Wow, it must be scammed us, tricked us all. He said it would work. It would make the entire world into a Java world. Okay, this part, this entire part here. Okay, is actually the Java edition world. Okay, all of this here, is part of the Java edition world. Okay. Look, here's the lake. Okay, here's the lake. I don't know if you guys noticed, remember, whatever. Okay, but this is all part of the Java edition world. The only reason this one segment right here. Is the pocket edition world is because it takes it from this area it takes from the spawn point which is right here okay spawn points right here okay if I die right now it's gonna make my spawn point up there or something but because of the spawn point being right there it takes the world from here like the edge of this Java dish world from the spawn point so I uh, can't really change any of that but did you see if, okay no let's pick that's how pink sheet but anyway, yeah, it works. All of this is now part of the this is all Java edition world. Okay, all of this here, everything on the edges, everything here, the entire world has been overridden. Okay, this is all Java edition. Okay, I'm not kidding. So you can go around, uh, do survival things. It's, it's all Java edition. Okay, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If this helped you in any way at all, just leave a like. It really helps me a lot. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. A brand new video. See you guys.